Hi guys, it's Empress Virgo, the Empress Virgo's Road, back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Well, whenever you guys happen to watch this reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then there may be a message in the reading for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated, okay? Oh, quick housekeeping uh if you guys get a chance if you haven't checked out my book life is not a dress rehearsal my journey in the classroom as an empath and a teacher please go check it out your support is much appreciated and once you read it give me an honest review on wherever you buy the book and i will take heed of the review okay so let's get into the reading y'all okay all right as split the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So, Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? So, y'all might be meeting someone soon. Or you might be dealing with a King of Pentacles. That's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. Let's see messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, romantic love messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Alright, the tower, the seven of swords, Three of Cups, the Emperor, Justice, Six of Wands, Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, that's what I thought. Y'all are getting new love after dealing with someone who basically didn't want to be in a relationship with you. Uh, take it how it resonates for you. Um, this could have been someone you were with for quite a long time, whether you were married to them or with them, just in a relationship. It could have been an off and on type of thing. You know. This is someone, I don't care what you did in the relationship to please them, they challenged you. It's like maybe now that you're not with them anymore, they're spying on you. Uh, or they might be have a child or someone trying to see what you're up to. Yeah. Because... They thought they knew, they thought they wanted to let you go, but they, they found it out that the grass isn't green on the other side, two of swords, okay? So, you were emperor or empress and someone let you go. They didn't know what to do with you when they had you, but now, they trying to change their mind. Hmm. So, whoever you were dealing with, it could have been possibly a Scorpio or whoever they are, whatever they're fun sign is it's not my concern but my concern is that uh they caused you quite a bit of grief in the past in this relationship it's like no matter what you did or how you tried to make things work it wouldn't work and that's because you were dealing with someone who was very deceptive and i i downright want to say this was your op for real okay like they were like sent to you as opposition as obstacle most people don't believe that but it's true trust me on that um with the three of cups it's like you were trying to build something with them and you thought you were dealing building a relationship or a marriage or whatever on a strong foundation but it turned out to be a faulty one they were always lying and deceiving you even though you might have been on the up and up, they possibly try to put you in a third party situation. This three of cups too could also represent that you were not just like cheating, but you were trying to build something and talk through things with this particular person and they were telling me your business to everybody outside of the relationship. Three of cups energy, okay? That could represent family members outside of the relationship friends outside of the relationship their co-workers or your co-workers people do some strange things i'm just saying with the emperor here i feel like this is you letting it go and trying to move on and take back your personal power that emperor could represent your divorce attorney i'm not gonna lie with the justice card here 
this is you letting it go, moving forward, letting things come out, uh, letting the chips fall where they may. With that, uh, now that I think about it, this could be a private investigator or this could be someone in the court, but I feel like this right here is somebody trying to dig up some dirt, either on your behalf or against you. They might be using children to dig up dirt on you and present it in the court. It's not going to work. Okay, it's not going to work. That's going to cause some two of swords stalemate energy. Yeah, they're going to have to give you what is rightfully yours, whether you divine masculine or divine feminine. Yeah, what they think they're going to find, they're not going to find. How this person is coming at you sideways in this breakup, divorce, whatever, child custody, whatever the case may be, they won't be successful. You're going to win, okay, with the Six of Swords, Justice, and the Emperor here. Somebody's going to, is going to decide in your favor, okay? It's like this has been a long battle. It's like they threw, they have been throwing rocks and hiding their hands at you, and now they want to act like, oh, you're wrong for fighting back, okay? This is for somebody. With the Ten of Swords, this person really betrayed you. They're going to feel like you betrayed them when you bring up everything that happened or when you have evidence to refute what they claim to have happened in the relationship or with the kids or whatever the case may be. Y'all see that smoke rising, right? Okay, let me move back so y'all can see. Uh, it's going to be so much stuff coming out on this particular person to where it's not even funny. It's like... The judge is going to be like, okay, they did all this. I'm going to let you decide what happens. I'm going to let you decide what's a, the best split or the best case scenario with the Seven of Cups here. After all of that, I feel like you're really going to come out on top and you're going to actually move forward in your own life in the near future with this particular situation with a new person, not the old, okay? You're going to get the type of love that you always wanted. Despite what you meant. Okay. Whoa. All right. Let's see. What additional messages do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces? Y'all seen that third part? There it is again. Third party, three cups energy. So somebody that they was talking to about y'all relationship was somebody who they ended up dealing with. But now they're trying to make it seem like it was you doing it. Okay. Let's see. Mm-mm. Let's see. And for some of them, the same person that they call they self turning to when the relationship was going bad, they probably were dealing with him already. But that person is going to betray them too. But hey, hey, what's good for the goose, huh? What's good for the gander, I say. But yeah, let's see here. Let's see. The Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, and Venus placement. Okay, what y'all got? Y'all gonna end up with someone who can give you this security. Not someone from the past one in the future. What is yours will always be yours. This love is secured by the divine, okay? New, not old. Let's see. Additional message. Okay. Slow down. <laughs> Y'all yeah, seen that disharmony? Okay, Y'all yeah, see these two came in reverse. Okay, put them back in there. Can't make this stuff up. Let's see. Additional message. You gonna get somebody. See, that's the same couple. This is someone new. A dedicated partner whose love is unconditional and eternal. That's that two of cups energy. Let me place that right there. So you know that's someone new, not the old. Let's see. Anything else for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements regarding new? Okay, so final card, past life. There may be a past life connection, unfinished business with this person. So this is someone new. And I feel like this is what you're going to get in this lifetime after going through this previous connection in this here lifetime with someone else. 
you got someone coming that you have unfinished business with from a past lifetime or previous lifetime that you will have security devotion and the victory with but leave the past in the past so you can move on okay forgive and heal the past so you can move forward with someone new okay so that's all i have for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus placements i hope you guys enjoyed the reading if you did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys